John Airy here with Photon City News taking a quick look today at a direct-to-home video release called Bounty Killer. The film takes place in the year 2042 after the corporations have taken over. Companies battled in a giant war which resulted in a post-apocalyptic landscape. Now a new breed of outlaws has arisen to hunt down the CEOs of Earth's remaining corporations, and they are called Bounty Killers. What's the matter, Trevor? You get a dirty mug? Now, I wouldn't say the film is great by any stretch, but I did have a good time watching it. It occupies a space just above your typical sci-fi movie of the week, but with a meager enough production quality to keep it out of your local cineplex. It revels in cheap CG gore with decapitations, gunshots, and stabbings. We're talking grindhouse thrills on a canon film's budget. The cast, it's solid, with Aussie Matthew Marsden and newcomer Christian Petrie spewing hacky dialogue while killing bad guys and looking attractive. What did you need to tell me? I was going to. It's, uh, it's complicated. Plus, anytime you have the likes of Beverly D'Angelo or Gary Busey showing up for cameos in a futuristic sci-fi western road warrior-like setting, you know it's at least going to be interesting. Hey! Button your lip, short dick. The boss doesn't like it when people interrupt her. I got you covered, Catherine. Gypsy! Bounty Killer won't appeal to those with a strong distaste for bad CG or a silly plotline, but if you're looking to kill 90 minutes with some fun action, attractive people, and plenty of over-the-top violence, you could do a lot worse. But those are just my thoughts about Bounty Killer. I'd love to hear yours. You can leave your comments below and keep checking in with Photon City News for latest updates and reviews. I'm John Airy.